Hi guys, this is Lego Yoshi, and let me be one of the first people to say a Merry Christmas to all of you. To all my fans, to all the people who are watching, to everyone out there. Uh, I want to do a video of my Christmas presents. I know it is a couple of days after Christmas by the time this goes up. But, um, yeah, I wanted to do a present video, you know, show everything that I've got from uh, my family and some of my friends. So, uh, I might as well start off with... This shirt, I don't know if you can see it very well, sorry, I'm covering it up with my hand, as you can see. It is a nice Super Mario shirt, which was bought for me by my fiancé. Uh, I do have a black version of this, and she says you know, it doesn't look complete without the white one, so I got the white one as well, so I'm not going to complain that. The other one, I'm going to have to move the camera again, it is just over here, I'll move out the way. May not interest most people, but it is my Wakefield Trinity shirt for 2019. For when I can get back and go and watch them when the season starts. Right, the rest of the stuff, I'm going to have to flip the camera around and do it on the other one so there's a bit more room for it. So, just give me two seconds, guys. Okay, so we're going to start off with CDs. Unfortunately, I can't show one of you because it's actually in my car. I'm already playing it. But, um, I got this one, which is now 101. I've always collected the Now CDs since number 35, I think it's my first one, if I remember rightly. So, and I've just collected them ever since. And it's got some decent tracks on, Ariana Grande, George Ezra. Uh, I'm trying to find some other good ones which I really like. Uh, the uh, Sigala, LA, Megan Trainer, uh, Just Got Paid song. Uh, take that. Uh, Panic at the Disco surprisingly got on here, for which... Really does surprise me because they never usually get on anything that's my more kind of music. Uh, the other CD I got was another Now CD, but it was the Now That's What I Call Now, where it's literally got a song from every Now on there. So there's five CDs. So I'm currently making my way through that, which uh, so far I'm enjoying the first. I've only got had the first CD on first, but so far it's going quite well. Oops, and there goes my camera. That's what happens when you've got a shoddy bloody camera stand which doesn't want to stay up. Alright, next we move on to books. Uh, this one was actually my secret Santa at work. <clears throat> That's terrible. A cringe-worthy collection of a thousand and one jokes. Or apparently really bad jokes. Um, it's from Georgia at work who uh, I do follow on Instagram. Um, she decided to get me this, because apparently when I'm at work, I always tell jokes. Although I always thought my jokes were quite good, but then again, that's my own personal opinion. So, she says, oh, you can get some of these and use some of these at work. But if they're really bad jokes, I don't think anybody's going to want to listen to them. For example, if I just get you a random joke from out the book. <clears throat> Let's see. No, do, 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 do. Um, I'm trying to find a good one actually because some of these are quite horrible. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I was starving when I arrived at the concert, so I ate the act. It was meatloaf. Wow, oh, tough crowd. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the next book that I got, uh, once again, some people won't be interested in this, but. I got it anyway. It's in my rugby league yearbook, 2018-2019. I love to go through all my stats and everything. I'm that big a rugby fan. So, yeah. It's something that I take to work and have a good uh, nosy it. Should keep me going a bit, I think. And the last book I got will be linking back to another present. Let me just move this back a bit so I've got a bit more room. <clears throat> Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Kanto Region Pokedex Guidebook. So you can probably guess one of the games that I got for Christmas. <laughs> but no, this is actually... I've played a little bit of it. I've not quite got to the first gym, but it is actually a really good game so far. I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon Let's Go. Um, I just found it annoying to have to keep walking around, finding Pokemon, and all of a sudden you run out of balls because you keep missing. But this one combines that and normal Pokemon games. So it's actually quite good. It works quite well together. The problem is I've caught so many bloody uh, caterpies and weedles and ratatas and pidgeys that I'm fed up seeing them. So, anyway, 
on to the next bit um, is the pop vinyl figures. Um, first one is one of my favorite. If anybody's seen uh, my uh, which pickup video was it now? I think it was Manchester, the latest pickup video. Um, people will know my favorite creature from the Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts series. And I had to get a pop vinyl of him, but I wanted to get hold of it. But uh, my brother decided that no, 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 I'll uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So it got me Niffler, cute little Niffler. And the best thing is, I know I haven't opened him yet. Um, he does have his little coins with him. Um, but yeah, he is just without a doubt the best and cutest character that you can get. I don't really plan to get many in this series, to be honest with you, because my uh, brother's fiance will collect. Every, I think she's got m near enough every single one of these now that you can get Newt in two different forms with his briefcase or with an egg. Uh, Queenie, I got a Queenie for Christmas actually. Uh, Tina Goldstein, uh, Jacob Kowalski, Serafina Piccadilly, Percival Graves, and you can get two different versions of Niffler, but I prefer the one with the coins because it looks a lot uh, more like him. Like he is at the beginning of the film when he's trying to nick all them coins. Uh, the next one, I've tried to reach over, <clears throat> is Spyro and Sparks. Now I've been, I love the Crash Bandicoot one that I got, and Spyro is another one of my favourite uh, video game characters. And I was so happy to actually get this. This was from my fiance, and also little tiny uh, Sparks, the dragonfly. Unfortunately, I knew I was already getting this because when uh, my fiance bought it, unfortunately she left it out on the side and I did spot it, but I pretended and turned away from it because obviously I didn't really want to spoil anything because it's not uh, what I want to do. Right, on to the next bit. Um, this is the category I like to call etc. Because I can't really put them in a category because they're all different things, but they all still mean something anyway. So, I'll start off with something that my best friend got me. I can find it. There we go. Um, my best mate Tim got me this for me and my fiance. And got me a Cineworld uh, pack, which has got two adult 2D vouchers, depending on what we want to go see. There is a few films out at the minute, so I won't mind actually using it maybe as soon as possible if we can. Uh, two times regular soft drinks, one times regular popcorn, and two times candy canes. If I open it up, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> there you get the stocking filler, which is your film vouchers, your two candy canes, and your tummy villa voucher. So, we look forward to using that one. Uh, the next thing is something from my fiance, but was made by one of her friends. Handmade and everything, and... I'll be honest with you, I think it's absolutely lovely, this. <clears throat> I'll have to lay it down, because it's a bugger to keep up. But it is my own Christmas stocking. With uh, a wolf, is it, I think? Uh, hedgehogs, owls, and foxes all over it. So, um, one reason I have got this is because next year... Uh, I will be moving in with my fiance, so that's going to be nice. She got one as well, with her name at the top, as you can see. I've got Russ at the top for me. Um, so we're going to have them next to each other. You don't get a massive amount of presents in there, but it is an absolutely... It's beautifully made, it really is. She's a dab hand with stuff like this, so... It is really lovely, I do love it. Um, let me just check something, I just need to make sure my battery's still charging. Yep, I'll go for that. I'm doing this before I go to work and I need my phone at work for, uh, to keep me from going insane, shall we say? <laughs> right, the next one. Um, this is actually a gift that set me off a little bit. I'm, I mean, after everything that's happened recently with my grammar and everything, I have been quite emotional. So, But this one actually did get me a little bit. It's a little decoration that we can have. Uh, Erica and Russell's first Christmas as an engaged couple, 2018. Once again, I don't know where she gets these. For. She always seems to find the best places to get uh, things like this. And this is absolutely 
beautiful, beautifully made, great message on it, and it did set me off, I'm not going to lie, I am emotional sometimes anyway, so, but that was absolutely beautiful, so I'm going to hang that from our tree, uh, the next thing, I'd kind of hinted a couple of times at this, but didn't actually expect to get it, and the person who got me it was the last, least person I would expect, which was my mum and dad. A little Niffler Teddy. With his own little gold coin. He's got a little pouch as well to put the gold coin in. Like so. Um, but yeah. When I went to Manchester a couple of months ago. I kept to grabbing it off the shelf. And showing it to my best mate. So I was actually half and half. He was going to get it. And then my brother and his fiance was. Knew that I, I liked it. So. But they went to York quite recently, so I guess they got it when they did. They went there with my mum and dad, so they told them that I uh, wanted it. But look at him, he's so cute. Aww, good little Niffler. He has been sat downstairs with us while we're opening the presents on. Uh, we had opened some presents yesterday as well, because that's when my brother came round. Right, so that's the stuff for etc. I believe that's everything. Yes. The next one uh, is DVDs and Blu rays. I won't warn you now, I've got another two categories still after this, but these are the more interesting categories, the ones that more people may be interested in. <clears throat> right, so starting with the first one. Once again, it is rugby related, but... The Wakefield Trinity 2018 Season Review. I'm surprised I haven't already started watching this yet, because I cannot wait to watch it. Uh, another decent season for us, we finished fifth in the table, which say we finished bottom of the table with no wins hardly. Uh, a couple of years ago is actually quite shocking, so I am looking forward to watching this. Uh, it'd be nice to go back over the whole, all the highlights again. And um, once again, I'm afraid it's rugby related. I think that is it for rugby related things. If you think, oh, for God's sake, we get on with it. Here's the actual Super League review. So uh, I went to the grand final as always, so that was perfectly nice. Fortunately, not the team that I wanted to win one, but that's usually what happens. Usually, I think I've been to four. Grand finals now, and three times the team that I wanted to win didn't win. So, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching that as well. Although, more than likely, me and my best mate will be watching that as well. So, that'll be something we can do when we're having, eating this Chinese. Uh, right, so the next four Blu rays I've got uh, are all films. All films I've been to see this year, I think. Yes. The first one is Early Man. Um, created by the people from Walsh and Gromit, uh, Chicken Run, Shaun the Sheep. Uh, I love uh, Nick Park and his art and animation team. They are absolutely brilliant. Now, the work that they do for these films is amazing. While not the best film in the world, it is quite good though. I mean, you've got Eddie Redmayne, who is obviously Newt in uh, Fantastic Beasts, playing as Doug, if I remember rightly. Uh, Maisie Williams, I can't remember the female character's name. Uh, you got Timothy Spall, who I forgot he was actually... Oh, he plays the uh, chief of the cavemen. And you've got Tom Hiddleston, who I'm a big fan of him when he played Loki. And you've got Rob Brydon as well, who plays the pigeon back here. But, uh, yes, I'm looking forward to watching that again. Cause I think me and um, my fiance want to watch this uh, in January, I think it came out. So I haven't seen it for a good 11 months. So I'll be looking forward to watching that again. <coughs> Sorry about the coffee, guys. I've had a bad, uh, bit of cold for the last few days. Uh, the next one is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Once again, not the best film in the franchise, but better than Jurassic Park 3. And I do actually prefer it a bit more to Lost World as well, although the story is similar-ish. It was quite good. It does involve the saddest scene in a Jurassic Park film or Jurassic World film. Uh, I'm not going to say anything just in case you haven't watched it and you received it for Christmas. I won't ruin it, but it is quite a decent film. Um, the main bad guy, I'll be honest with you, I can't warm to, but it does introduce one of my favourite dinosaurs and it's one that I got the uh, pop vinyl for for my brother and I can never remember its actual name. But it's the one that keeps headbutting everything. It's like Stigam Stigmalock or something like that. But I just call him Stiggy. And I don't know why, but I absolutely found him hilarious. Just 
going through and headbutting everybody. Uh, the next film, um, I don't remember when. I think these two next films actually came out very close to each other, and they're both Marvel. So, Deadpool two. Once again, uh, I want to see this. Uh, maybe not quite as good as the original, but still as funny. Um, so many funny characters in this film. Uh, I love this guy. I can't remember his name. I'm a bugger for this. But I uh, love this guy. I love uh, Josh Brolin, who plays uh, Cable. And obviously I love Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. He's just absolutely perfect for it. And at least he doesn't have his mouth shown up. Uh, shown up? Sewn up. So but I won't ruin anything just in case. Obviously you've got it as well for Christmas and you haven't seen it yet. I, won't, I don't like ruining things for people, so... And the final Blu-ray is, speaking of Josh Brolin, Avengers Infinity War. Now, my mum actually got me the 3D version for this, which I don't actually have a 3D player, but at least it includes a 2D Blu-ray, so it's not all that bad. So, yes, uh, Josh Brolin, of course, plays Thanos, which was weird because both films came out near enough around the same time. I think it was like a week or two between them. But, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing film. Some of the big characters actually do die, and I actually guess both of them when we went to see this. I think it was just after my birthday, if I remember rightly. But, uh, really good film. I do prefer the first Avengers film, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. But, this is a very, very close second. It's a really good film, and I'd definitely place this in my top five Marvel MCU films. Right, the next category is probably the one that's going to be interested most, I think. Which is the games category. Yep. I had to get some computer games, didn't I? No retro games, I'm afraid, but just as good. Now, the first game I have, this one was from my fiancé, Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy. Oh, my God. I've been playing some of this already. I played a bit of Spyro 1. Graphically, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I would recommend this. I've... I got the original game as a kid. I played a little bit of the second one, but never played the third one. So I'm looking forward to uh, having a look through that one. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one. I am also thinking at least to play in this, uh, at least the first game definitely for the channel when I get a chance. So I expect that to be coming sometime soon. And also because uh, my fiance pre-ordered this. If I put it there, will it be out of the camera range? Yes, it will be. Good, good. Uh, she got a little pre-order bonus in this. Now, some people may know what this is if they pre-ordered it as well, but uh, I knew nothing about this. This pack contains one spiral keyring and three collectible art cards. So, I've already had a look into this, so don't think that I'm seeing this for the first time. I'm not going to lie to you. I had to have a nose because I was uh, very, very curious and I couldn't get around to doing the video straight away. So we have Dr. Shemp uh, card, who is the second boss from the first game. Uh, you've got Ganesti Ganok, who is the main villain for the first game. And you have Hunter, who I believe is one of the Spyro's friends in the second game, if I remember rightly. And um, possibly the third one as well, like I said, I haven't played that yet. And also, you get this keyring. Which, I have to admit, is pretty, very nice. It is really, really nice. Uh, let me get the camera right. And you've got, obviously, a picture of Spyro engraved in it. Reignite Trilogy and some gems. So, I'm going to find a place to put that keyring. Because I really like it. It's definitely going to have a pride of place somewhere. Whether it be my house keys, or my car keys, or my work locker keys, any of that will be fine. And I'm sorry I've knocked the camera over again. I'm trying to get it back in the box and I've knocked it with my hand. Uh, let's uh, look over there. And, uh, <laughs> hello, we're back you head. Hello. Now I'm not going to edit it out or anything because I can't, I honestly haven't got the ch time to do it. Right, on to the next games. I got two Switch, uh, let me start again. The rest of the games I got is four Switch games. I'm going to sneeze, but go away. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm good. The first two I'm going to show off because these are from uh, Mark Foster and his family from the Foster's Games Reviews. Uh, quick shout out to them. Two, uh, them two are my two of my best friends. 
they are lovely people they do great content got quite a few subscribers and i'd love them to get some more subscribers as well so uh, if you haven't checked them out go and check them out already we do have a plan in the new year to start uh, to do a new video um where we're going to go and have a look around and see if we can get any bargains and look around some retro game shops and stuff so be on the lookout for that that's coming very soon uh hopefully soon anyway because uh, I get paid in a couple, uh, just over a week, so we may do it around then, or maybe wait a week, something like that, depending on how things go. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on now. The first game is Carnival Games. Now, I've already had a go at this, and it's, uh, some of the controls can be a little bit weird, but it's actually quite good. Um, I've played, I haven't played that game yet, I don't know which one that one is off the top of my head, I might have to purchase that game. And I played both of these two. I did like both of them. There's a couple of games on there which are a bit, eh, you know, not not brilliant. But apart from that, it is actually quite a decent game to play. So I may actually ask Mark if he fancies playing this and maybe doing like a video for either his channel or my channel. Either way, it's fine. It should be a good laugh anyway. And the next game he got me, which I haven't played yet, but I'm looking forward to playing, Lego DC Super Villains. So, I have seen a lot of advertisements for it. A lot of people have been slating it a little bit. But, it's DC Super Villains. Some, they've got some really good villains in there. I mean, I love Joker, I love Harley Quinn. I mean, I mostly love the Batman villains, to be fair. So, I'm looking forward to uh, playing with some of them and seeing what I can do with that. Uh, the next game I got... Um, I, yeah, my man, mouth's gone dry, sorry. Um, you saw the book for it earlier... It is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I had to get this one because the Eevee one, as much as I like it, it's a nice idea. I prefer the Pikachu one because somebody told me, I don't know if it's true or not, this could be completely wrong, but somebody told me that you can actually uh, not evolve your Pokemon. So I thought, if anything, Eevee is just a normal type, so I'm not really good. I'm not, it's not super effective against anything, so I'd rather have the uh, Pikachu one. For the electric type, and I've always liked Pikachu. He's always one of my favourite ones, even though he's a bit overused. But uh, hey ho, he's a f mascot and the face of the company, I suppose. Just give me two seconds, guys. I need to take a drink. Cause my throat's hurting. Ah, sorry about that. <clears throat> See behind the scenes footage, even though it's not all shown on camera. And the last one, I've been waiting for this ever since it got announced. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I've been playing this quite a fair bit, to be honest. I took it to work yesterday. Um, I've unlocked quite a few of the characters, but not everyone. There's literally uh, 70, uh, 74 5 characters, something like that, if I remember rightly. I've got about 40-odd. About 45-ish, I think. So I'm on my way. But... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do videos on them or not yet. I've been planning on looking at them and... Uh, I mean, the DC Super Villains might have to wait because I do plan on doing the Lego games, but I've got to start somewhere near the beginning from what I have. So anyway. Right, so on to the final category now, which, of course, is Lego. What else could it have been? So, I'll start... Uh, where shall I start... I'll tell you what, I'll start with the one that my mum got me. Which I believe is actually the biggest one out of all of them. So I may have to move the camera quite a fair bit back. Let me see how this goes. Oh, uh, yes, definitely. I'll move this right back. It is the Lego City Hospital. Uh, unfortunately, I've seen enough of hospitals quite recently, so I don't... This may not have been the best choice of mine, but... It is lovely to look at, it really is. I can't wait to build it myself. Um, the ambulance looks great, all the interior looks great. And there's even some light bricks for the x-rays, which is going to be quite nice to do. So I am looking forward to that one. A nice little helicopter in the top corner. Also, you can see outside my door. Hello! <laughs> right, let me put you over there for a second. Uh, my next one is what my dad got me. This might be a bugger to try and film. Oh, uh, there we 
we go. Oh, good grief. It's the Lego Creator Pirate Roller Coaster. I've seen this for the last few months and I have been so excited to see this. Um, it is a free in one so you can create some different ones. There's that one which is just a little turning ride and there's that one which is your... It's not really a roller coaster, it's the one where it just goes up and down and you go backwards and forwards. And But if I'm going to be honest, that is the one that I want to build. While I can't get the actual Lego roller coaster that came out, because it's £300, um, this one I am going to more than happily do. And of course there will be review coming when I get round to them. Um, I've still got to review a Harry Potter set yet and other stuff, so I will get round to them. I've just been so busy you would not believe. So, like I said, they will be coming, I <laughs> promise you that, people who have been waiting for it. And finally, the very last present... I had to leave this one to last because it was what uh, my grandma got me. And uh, like I say, I lost my grandma earlier this year, which was uh, deeply saddening. Um, put me on a bit of a downer, but I'm still I'm still here. I'm anyway. About that, the Fantastic Beasts Newt's case of magical creatures, which it just looks so nice. You can fold it up and everything just to do that, but it's going to be on display exactly like this. Comes with uh, Queenie, Tina, Newt, and Jacob. Newt, <laughs> Jacob with his little uh, football style helmet on, which I'm going to love. And of course, there he is, little Niffler. So, there we go then guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you guys for my next video, whatever it may be. So, thank you very much for watching guys, see you next time. Bye guys. And don't forget, you can now follow me on Twitter on LegoYoshi2.